Herodias uh -huh. dance before them. What did she do? Dance, dance before not, them. Now, did dance. she praise dance? Dance before dance. them. Or did she twerk it out? Dance before them. Okay. She danced before them. And please, Herod. What did she do? Please, Herod. Is this the word of God we're reading? It's the word of God. Okay, keep reading. That's the book. Verse 7 says, Whereupon uh -huh. he promised with an oath to give her uh -huh. whatsoever she would ask. Right. right. And she, mm -hmm. being before instructed of her mother, uh -huh. said, Give me here John Baptist uh -huh. head in a charge. Chop his head off and give it to me, right? Amen. Uh -huh. Turn it over and say, There are some things in this season I gotta chop the head off. Ah! And the king saw, nevertheless, for the oath's sake, and them which sat with him at meat, he commanded it to be given her. Verse 10, and he sent, and beheaded John in prison. Did he take John's head off? Yes, he did. And his head was brought in a charge. And given to the dismal. Now hold on, real, real quickly. I want you to understand. Now, in order to kill, uh, we're, we're taught in order to kill a snake, yeah. you have to cut it off by the head. You can't cut it off by the tail, by the middle of the body, because you know, at the end of the day, it can grow back its body and still go. Right. And um, I'll never forget when I saw a snake in my garden. Oh my God. I called my landlord. I said, oh I don't do that. You know, I don't work with snakes. No suffering. I'm an organist and a preacher. Right? Yeah. I'm not. That's not my profession to play with snakes. I never forget when I told him to come, and he said, "Listen." He said, "Do me a favor. Keep the snake happy until I get there." Uh -huh. Now the question is, I said, "Well, how do you keep a snake happy?" And he said, "Well, John said you have to understand snakes don't like noise." Yeah. So he said, just be quiet and watch it. <laughs> oh, Y'all ain't seen that man. They missed it. They missed it. They missed it over here. Come on, come on. I, I, want, I want people to get, get, get mad at sound. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Snake. They're the truth. Because, boy, snakes can't <laughs> take a lot of noise. <laughs> they will move away. From the noise. But he said, keep it quiet. And so he got there. Of course, he got there, and y'all know what happened. Uh -huh. He had a shovel that was a flathead shovel and got it at the head. head. Y'all already said nothing. Yeah. Let me give you another uh -huh. testimony. Uh -huh. We was at Bishop's house, and we just moving stuff. I don't know what we was doing, uh -huh. just moving Move stuff. Moving <laughs> stuff. And there's a whole <laughs> copperhead sitting right there looking at us the whole time. The next thing we know, we put it, finally get it into a bucket. And we put the bucket on top. Then we called some kids. We called some kids from the neighborhood, and they said, and "We told them that we need y'all to kill this snake." Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And I said, "Well, Lord, I don't know. Uh, we got Dusty inside. Dusty, he mad at us because simple fact we about to kill this snake. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And, and, and everybody else is like, "Come on, kill it." Y'all ain't saying nothing. So Destin is the lover one. He's, he's the one that actually goes down there, talks to the snake, and the snake attacks. Right. Oh, my God. You can't be nice in, it. No, <laughs> in no, this no, season. No, you can't no, play with no snake. No, I'm just telling you. Okay. Now, this ain't my message. I'm about to get to it. But you yeah, can't. So, so it was a poison snake. Of course, it bit it. We had to take it to the hospital. Yada, yada, yada. Gotta get y'all. We took the kids. The kids, you know, we, we said, are y'all ready? They both came back with shovels. Now, I've never seen this in my life. When they sauteed a snake in this porch. Y'all ain't saying that to me. As soon as we moved the bucket, both of them just went in like they just chopping up steak. Y'all ain't saying that to me. The next thing we know, we just said, oh, poor little snake. Not that shit. Keep reading. I'm sorry. You got to kill it from the head. Okay, I'm sorry. That was my sidebar. I'm sorry. I'm going to get back to the point. God, God got this one. Y'all remember that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And his disciples came uh -huh. and took up the body and buried it. They took up the body and they buried him. And went and told Jesus. Okay, they start snitching. Go ahead. When Jesus heard of it, uh -huh, he, he departed thence by ship into a desert place. Uh huh. And when the people had heard thereof, what did what happened? They followed him on foot out of the city. They followed Jesus out of the city when he left. Yeah, that's right. Every time our leader moves, we need to move with her. Yeah. Spiritually. Come on now. Go ahead, I'm listening. And Jesus went forth. 
And Jesus went forth and, and saw a great multitude. And saw a great multitude. Well, and was moved with compassion toward them. Now he had love and compassion with them. Go ahead, I'm listening. With love and compassion. Go ahead, love and compassion. Go and ahead. he healed their sick. What did he do? Heal yeah, their sick. He healed them because he loved them and wanted to see them whole. Y'all ain't saying that to me. Oh We're going to walk the steps. Go ahead. And when it was evening, uh -huh. His disciples came to him saying, uh -huh. This is a desert place. Mm -hmm. And the time Dry place. A desert place. Go ahead. And the time is now past. Right. Send the multitude away. Right. That they may go into the villages. They would go into the villages. And buy themselves victuals. Right. Go ahead. But Jesus said unto them. What did Jesus say? What did Bishop Baxter say? They need not depart. No, come to the house all the time. Come on. They need not to depart. Uh -huh. Give ye them to eat. What? She cooked us a meal. Lord have mercy. Yes, he did. What did Jesus do? And they said unto him, uh -huh. We have here but five loaves. We just have five loaves. And two fish. And two fish. He said, uh -huh. Bring them hither to me. Bring them to me. Uh huh. And he commanded the multitude. I'm gonna show you this mystery. Go ahead. To sit down on the grass. That's what? It. They were obedient to sit down on the grass. Uh, we just walk in the text. And took the five loaves. What did he do? Took the five loaves. Five good loaves, old fashioned loaves, or um, what kind of loaves were they? They were good loaves. Go ahead. And the two fishes. And the two fishes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed. He blessed the food. And break and gave the loaves to his disciples. And broke it and gave it to them. And the disciples to the multitude. Okay, and what else happened? They did all eat and were filled. Now, they didn't just eat. The word says they ate and they were full. I want you to tell you this for this moment right here in this area of the text is that you have to understand that this is your season of abundance. This is your season of overflow when you're not just going to have enough, but God is going to give you more than enough. He's going to give you overflow. He's going to give you double for your trouble. He's going to give you what you didn't think you were going to get. Keep reading. We here. Come on. We all go through the text. And they took up of the fragrance. That remained 12 baskets full. Yes. And they that had eaten were about 5,000 men. How many people ate? 5,000 men. Go ahead. Beside women and children. Wow. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship mm -hmm. and to go before him unto the other side. They went into the ship and when Jesus moved to the other side, the disciples went with him. What did I said just tell you a few minutes ago. Right. When our leader moves spiritually, we must move spiritually. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. Keep reading up, child. We almost to the good part. While he sent the multitudes away. <laughs> While he sent the multitudes away. And when he said sent them multitudes away, mm -hmm. he went up into a mountain apart to pray. He went into a mountain to pray. All right. Prayer. Prayer. Right. Prayer. He went to pray. He prayed. Jesus always prayed so he did something. Go ahead. I'm listening. And when the evening was come, uh -huh. he was there alone. Mm -hmm. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea. Now you have to understand, just because you are alone does not mean you're lonely. Amen. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Keep Amen. reading. I'm sorry. You talk so with waves. Uh -huh. For the wind was contrary. Yes. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them. The fourth watch of the night, Bishop. Walking on the sea. He was what? Walking on the sea. At the pool, he was walking. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, uh -huh. they were troubled, saying, Bravo. It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. Uh -huh. But straightway, Jesus spake unto them, Say saying, Say but don't be distracted. Don't Go ahead. Don't be distracted, By what you see. By what you see. Go ahead, keep going. But straightway Jesus spoke unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Ah. It is I. Be not afraid. Uh -huh. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, uh -huh. bid me come unto thee on the water. Uh -huh. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Uh -huh. But when he saw the wind, that old Peter, what he do? But when he saw the wind boisterous, uh -huh. he was afraid. Uh -huh. And beginning to sink, oh, yeah. he cried, saying, You're Lord, telling me the cusser was afraid. Oh, afraid. <laughs> <laughs> right. The 
Keep going. Yeah. And immediately, Jesus straight forward.